hi guys my name is Belinda and you're welcome to my youtube channel <sighs> so guys basically today we're just going to chat we're just going to talk we're going to catch up you know because you may or may not know I've been away from YouTube for about a little bit over a year and honestly it wasn't a plan break if I'm being very honest with you like I had plans I had recorded my graduation okay guys so this is how I look oh this is my sash says graduate here and then this is this says Dr. Uche I am Dr. what Okay guys, so this is it. This is how I look. Um, tomorrow is crop day, like I said earlier. Thank you. I had recorded my my move to a new country. Hi guys. Um, <laughs> we're Malta. It's my room. Nothing really. It's just... <sighs> guys, I'm so tired. Like, can you see how tired I am? But I just arrived, like I literally just arrived, my bags, everything is still like still here. Um yeah, let me show you my room. It's in I live in a three bedroom apartment but um I have my own bathroom which is what I wanted. So I'll show you guys that. This is it. Nothing special, just shower sink mirror this is it then this is the entrance to my door bed wardrobe this is the part that was very underwhelming for me guys like i saw this i was expecting like a nice balcony right right so you come here you open the door it's a sliding door which is actually nice well, guys, can you see? Can you see? Oh my god! Oh my god! This view is so horrible. What the? Oh god! I say this, 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 this farm, I've been an animal farm or whatever, is it's making me weak. And it's making the balcony smell like, like a farm. I'm too close. Like, it's really making me weak. I wasn't expecting this. Like, oh my God. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that at all. Now I can't open my window or my balcony door anytime I want because it's going to make my room smell like an animal farm. Guys, I, I really, I am not finding that funny at all. I'm really not, I was, I'm not liking that. I, can't, I, I absolutely hate this. Anytime I open the door, it smells like an animal farm every single time. <laughs> it is so obvious that I'm pissed. I'm really like, this is what I order. The room is nice, like, nice room, nice bed, nice. It has an air conditioner as well, which is actually nice because Malta is very hot. But yeah, I came, went straight to do paperwork, like signing documents and taking inventory and things like that so that's why it's um i'm just talking to you guys now it's like seven past seven seven thirty seven now and i need to go and buy some things because i'm starving i need to buy water because apparently they don't drink water from the tap so guys i just i'm not feeling this new move at all i miss poland so much Miss Poland so much. <laughs> Miss Poland so much. I want to go back. What? 
I'll call my sister. Just be lamenting, like it's okay. I don't think I can talk as much as I want to talk. Like the plan for me was to live by myself, but guys, it's speaking expensive. Like for this room, it's like four hundred and eighty euros a month. That's expensive, at least for me right now. It's expensive. Maybe after six months, I'll be able to afford a one-bedroom apartment. But right now, it's very expensive. So yeah. Anyways, I'll go find some, get something to eat. I'm so sorry if my energy is low. I just I'm um, not. This is it. I don't know. This is just very, very new to me. It's all new to me. I'm just trying to take it all in. I'm trying to take everything all in. Maybe by tomorrow I'll feel better. I'll be in higher spirits. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> I had plans, but you know, you plan and God has a different plan for you, basically. Um, um so what happened was i moved to a new country i graduated let me just start from the beginning right i mean medical i'm a medical doctor i graduated med school last year um june and i basically moved to malta um because i got a job as a foundation doctor as a junior doctor so i made that move at the end of june and it wasn't easy it wasn't an easy move like it was very hectic like i didn't know anything about any like i moved to an entirely new country where i knew absolutely no one um a lot of paperwork had to be done there was an orientation like it wasn't easy for me personally so um so i guess that kind of made me put youtube you know by his side and kind of focus on the new job and guys working as a junior doctor like it can be very overwhelming you have this like sort of imposter syndrome that you're dealing with as well you're dealing with new working hours dealing with people just it was an entirely different it was an entirely different experience that i that i was used to so um it did take some adjustments i also had to learn how to you know manage my time because most times after work after duties i think you're on call you feel very tired like in the beginning i used to sleep like once i'm done with my duties i used to sleep all day long till the next day that's how bad it was i mean now you kind of get a hang of it you know how to like you recover quickly basically so guys you may be wondering what i'm doing now so currently i'm in the what we call the foundation program now it's a two-year compulsory um training period that is done here in malta and in the uk as well um so post medical school you have this compulsory two year where you rotate basically between different departments um after which you can go into specialty training so two years as a as a houseman as a house officer sorry and uh two years of housemanship, two years as a house officer and then you can apply and go into specialty training which is quite different from what's been done in the US in the US after medical school you just go directly into specialty training I think that's how it's been done there but I, to be honest I quite like the system here um, because it kind of made me um, rotating between different departments kind of made me you know like streamline my options and know what i like and what i you know, don't really care for that much so as i mentioned earlier it's a two-year program i just got done with the first year and i'm currently in my second year meaning that by this time next year ideally i should be in a in a training program i, I can apply i'm eligible to apply for specialty training both in the uk even though i'm doing the foundation program in Malta. I don't know what's happening next year, but right now in this moment, I just want to enjoy the remaining time I, li I have left here in Malta. Like, I don't have up to a year left. By this time next year, hopefully, fingers crossed, I should be in i should be in a different country i'm not exactly sure where but i should be in a different country so and i realized that i haven't quite you know i don't have diaries i don't have like like a video diary basically of my stay here in malta and i would like to share that with you guys i'd like to show you malta malta is a very beautiful country the weather is great you know it's a very beautiful 
a nice country with very nice people as well so why not just show that part as well as well as generally my life as a junior doctor because it hasn't been all roses like you study for six years or seven years wherever you are for this and it's it took quite an, an adjustment for me it took me a while to get adjusted with the working practices and you know changing my mindset from being a student to now being a doctor and also teaching other medical students like it can be very overwhelming but like i said um in my second year now i'm kind of getting a hang of it and i just would love to share my experiences with you guys as a junior doctor as well as you know being able to go back and watch them expect more videos basically from me day in the life uh i did a day in the life as a medical student once on my channel and i realized a lot of people actually liked it so why not now it's a different phase of my life different um time in my life so um, so i'll be doing more videos more lifestyle videos more vlogs um to be honest i would say that i i know that a lot of people are going to be asking me how to come to malta from nigeria i, I don't know i'm just going to be the first and say it here i really don't know because i doubt that was not my story i didn't come all the way from nigeria um i came from poland which i studied in europe basically i didn't train here in malta so that's the difference um, so I might, I might have more insight in that, maybe studying in a European um, university and wanting to make the move here in Malta. But as to if you can come from Nigeria, oh, well, please, I don't know. I don't think I can help. If I do have an opportunity, maybe I see someone that, that um, followed that path, that came directly from Nigeria to work here in Malta, then sure. But right now, I really don't know. So please and please don't be angry if i'm not able to be of help with regards to those questions because i do expect to get them i hope that you enjoyed it it was a quick update quick chat like i'm not even sure if if you guys are one that interested in knowing what's been going on but anyways i just felt it right to fill in that gap and then start to post new videos i do hope you liked this video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys